What is up guys? Welcome back to another fan mail unboxing and it has been a while just like it's been a while since my last off the shelves video that I recorded just before this one. So if you have sent me something I apologize that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for me to finally open it up and address it. Uh, some of these have been sitting here for about three months now. Now it's time to finally get into it. This has been a crazy couple of months, guys. So thank you so much to everybody that sent something in. If you want to send something in to be in a future video, or if you just want to send something in for the niceness of it, please, in the video description of every single one of my videos, since I've had my P.O. Box, the address is right there. That's the easiest and, of course, safest way to send me anything. Not requesting anything, but if you want to send something, that's the way to do it. So I've got two letters here and about four or five different packages. So we'll start off with the letter of which I pretty much can bet money who this is from. And you always have the, the best sealed letters. By all means, don't, don't feel the need to tape the corners here because that's the only way I can get my little fucking fingernails in there to get it. Oh man, anyway, all right, there we go. Yes, sir. This will tell you how long I've had this. Well, at this last month. So we got a uh, hand-drawn card for St. Patty's Day. It is now April 7th. Uh, hey, Cody Leach. Hope you had a good and drunken St. Patrick's Day in March 17th, 2023. Devin McCreary. Thank you so much, Devin, as always. I did have a good one because I stayed at home and relaxed and did not participate in the drunken festivities, nor do I ever. But, uh, yeah, I turned my uh, my jellyfish lights on my house to, to green and different shades of it and lit up the neighborhood. And so um, that was my way of celebrating St. Patty's Day. Meanwhile, I sat my ass at home and stayed safe. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. More tape. Damn it, Scotch. You should burn in hell. <laughs> All right. Ugh. There we go. Old Devin again. Got a little house here. Jason mask. Hey, Mrs. Leach. Oh, this is from my wife. I'll be sure to give it to her. But nonetheless, I hope you had a good Friday the 13th in January. See, I told you I've been hanging on to these for a while. I'll be sure to give this to the wife. Let me set this over here. Now I got a spam number calling me. Stop it! I'm not falling for it. This is from, hey, Stephanie Johnson. I already know what's in here, but you don't. <laughs> Steph always sends the coolest stuff. All right here, let's see. Oh, 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 shit. Hang on, hang on. All right, let me read the letter first. I tried to catch it all, it just didn't work out in my favor. Hey Cody, I hope you enjoy the signed triple feature DVD. Well, I guess I'll show them as we talk about it. So she went to a con where a lot of the um, Kevin Smith and company were there. And so she got a few things to send to me. So we got a triple feature DVD here. And see, if you see my, um, my Blu-ray video, my off the shelves, and I'm bitching about double features and triple feature physical media, this makes sense because it's all the same franchise. Uh, but she got one signed here. Uh, from the guys from Clerks, I believe. Uh, let's see. I hope you enjoy the signed triple feature DVD and joke toy from Clerks. I believe that's it. Oh, yep. I would say that's a joke toy. It's a bunch of dicks. <laughs> but yeah, I believe this is, uh, is it Kevin and Randall? I'm going to get fucked up in the comment section if I miss that, mess that up. I've never seen Clerks. I, I know that's crazy. I've seen a lot of the other movies. Clerks and Clerks 3 I have not seen yet. Uh, but I believe that's uh, Kevin and Randall or Devin and Randall, whatever their names are. I'm going to have to look it up now. Um, let's see. And the Strike Back minifigure. See, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, that is my favorite of his movies. So we got these here. Those are very cool. I'll have to find a place for those somewhere in the studio. The photos I included are proof that I met them, and they are the most awesome individuals. Jeff Anderson kept wanting to trade hats with me all weekend, as shown in a couple of the photos. Okay, got a couple of photos here. Let's see. Yep, you got this one here. Hopefully it, it's, is it going to show up? Is it going to show up? God damn it. There we go. There's one. 
There's two. And there's three. Very cool. Those cons are a lot of fun, man, especially when you get those guys that are actually down to earth and they're, they're not, you know, blinded by fandom and fame and all that stuff. But yes, very cool. Thank you so much, Steph. You always send the coolest stuff. So I'll have to put this somewhere on display, especially since it's Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Uh, I love that movie. And Chasing Amy. Those are actually my two favorites there. So yes, signed by those two fine gentlemen. I've got a box of dicks <laughs> and the Jay and Silent Bob figures here. So that is awesome. Thank you so much, Steph. I appreciate it. Awesome as always. Let me set that down here. Snoochie boochies. Tyler Nunn sends in something. Let's see what we got. A couple of movies. We have Chinatown, which I've never seen, actually. We have Duel, which I have never seen. That's one of uh, Steven Spielberg's first movies. Wizards. I don't know what this is. It looks like an animated film. Let me know the context of this one, Tyler. I don't know. I've always heard great things about Chinatown and Duel. I can't remember if that's a fan favorite or one of those underrated movies, but I'm curious to check that out for sure. Just look how many, there's like four names on the back. That's how small the little credits are. Uh, was there a letter in here? Did I miss it? Nope. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tyler. I look forward to checking out a couple of those. All right. Michael Adkins sends in something. Feels like it has pages attached to it somewhere. Can I open it this way? Ah, damn it. Some of these packages, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. Eh. Eh. All right. So, Cody, may all of your wishes come true. Hi, Cody. Friday the 13th is on the horizon, and what better way to celebrate than a prequel to Friday the 13th? I understand you're very busy, though. I would be eternally grateful if you could read my screenplay, Sorry, Mrs. Voorhees, and if you like it, possibly spread the word to your other subscribers to check out the free ebook version available on Paper Turn. Check your email for the Paper Turn link. No, I'm not a Nigerian prince, nor am I looking for money. I'm just a fan of your channel, aspiring screenwriter, trying to build an online base. Depending on the success of the script, I plan on releasing the rest of this series online, as well as some original stories. Please don't be intimidated by the size of the book, as I had to resize the text so the page count is inflated, but the actual script itself is only 110 pages. I hope you enjoy it, and if you don't like it, that's okay, because it doubles as a doorstop and chew toy for dogs or kids. I like the sense of humor there. Happy Friday the 13th, your friend and loyal Cody Leach subscriber, Michael Adkins, a.k.a. Mike Cinema. And, oh, we got Miss Flo here on the front. Hey, that makes it all the more valuable. I love her. Uh, Sorry, Mrs. Voorhees by Michael Adkins with Florence Pugh there in the front. So, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a script. Okay, I'll have to check that out sometime soon. I do like the fact that you went balls out and got the whole paperback treatment and everything. That makes it a little cool. After a tragic accident involving her young son, Pamela's faith and sanity are put to the ultimate test in this prequel to the popular 1980s slasher franchise, Friday the 13th. I wish I would have opened this before CP left. I could have given this for him to check out as the CP fanatic. Or, excuse me, as the Friday the 13th fanatic. There's no such thing as a CP fanatic. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll check it out here soon. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, so I have some more letters. They got stuck in here in the middle. All right, I think we've got another Devin here. Mr. I like to tape the corners. Where's it at? Come on, come on. Oh, good Lord. There we go. Thanksgiving, holy shit. Okay, some of these I've been holding on to longer than I thought then. Maybe this one got lost in the shuffle. Uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> I did not... I feel like I've done one since Thanksgiving. Have I? Maybe this one got misplaced and I just found it. Thanksgiving turkey, cornucopia. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving this year, 2022, Devin McCreary. And I also got some Blu-ray digital copy codes. I'll just see which ones of these I want. And uh, those of you that are patrons, keep an eye out for the other ones. I'll stick that over here. Sorry, Devin. 
but holding out on you for a while there. Oh, I got some dust in my nose. <laughs> uh, I think this one might be the same. Let me see. Devin always has the same styled and sized envelopes. This one's probably Christmas. Oh, no, this is for my wife then. Okay. Mrs. Leach. Okay. I'll, I'll stick this over here for her. <laughs> my wife was about to dump you, Devin. She's like, he hasn't reached out to me in months. Jason Eubank. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, Lord, there's a list. Dear Cody Leach, I love horror and thriller movies, and Chucky and Freddy are my favorite horror villains. Smart man. Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors has been my favorite horror movie for 35 years, and I love Halloween Season of the Witch. It's better than some of the Halloween sequels. Smart man. And it's a hidden gem. I love your YouTube channel. I love how you do movie rankings and franchises. I love your honesty on movies and franchises. Keep up the hard work and dedication to your channel, and I hope to be watching for years to come. You can read this letter live on YouTube. Here are some movies I think you may like. All right, buckle up. Fear the Rain from 2021. Happy Death Day. Happy Death Day to you. I do like both of those. Uh, Lights Out. I also like that one. Ouija. Ouija's okay. Ouija Origin of Evil. That one's much better. Exorcism of Emily Rose. I've always heard to check that one out and just have not yet. Hand That Rocks the Cradle. Pretty good from the 90s. The Glass House. Um, is that the one with Lily Sobieski, I believe? I've seen pieces of that. The Roommate. Truth or Dare. Tomorrow and Where the Crawdads Sing. Okay. Well, I'll try to check out some of those, Jason. I appreciate the letter, man. Keep up the good movie taste. For sure. Devin returns with more scotch tape. Let's peel the bottom here. Maybe that'll be a little easier. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> I see jack-o'-lanterns. Have I been holding out that long? Months fly, guys. Hope you had a good Halloween season this year, 2022. Wow. There's a robot. Or no, that's, that's Jigsaw. That's Billy the puppet. And then Halloween. Very cool. Sorry, Devin. Jesus, what is in my nose? Yeah. Something flew up there. All right. The Strawmeyer family. This is a Christmas card, I believe. I'm sorry, guys. Am I really that far behind on these? I usually try to wait till I have a stack so it's enough for a full video, but um, apparently I've been waiting too long. Hey, Cody, thanks for another great year of content creation. Love your channel. Hope you and the family have a great holiday season and happy new year. Best wishes, Jeff, Josh, Wyatt, and Rubina. Wishing you a Christmas season that's joy-filled and beautiful. Well, thank you so much, guys. We did have a very good holiday season. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, and then it comes with this little, little photo here. What the hell did they do to Freddy? What in the world? Everybody else looks solid. Freddy looks weird. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see that. Is it going into focus? Focus, bitch! There we go. Everybody looks solid. And then you get to Freddy and you're like, who the fuck? What is, what is that? That's funny. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good holiday season as well. So I went downstairs to eat lunch and found three more letters that I had stashed up against my wallet from the a time before I went to the P.O. box. So I don't know how old these are. Sorry, guys. This one is from Andy Conklin. Dear Cody, I've been watching your channel for a year now. I'm a huge horror fan. My favorite horror movie of all time is Child's Play 2. Wow! Chucky is my favorite horror icon. Chucky is the reason why I love horror movies. I love watching your channel. Keep up the great work. I hope someday you reach up to a million subscribers. Time will tell. I drew you a picture. Hope you like it. Remember, opinions are like assholes, but you don't. That doesn't mean you have to be. Your fan, Andy. 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 I've been talking for a long time today. Andy Conklin, got a little picture of Kruger here. It says, welcome to prime time, bitch. Also, looks like there might be another picture here. You've been very naughty, Miss Kettlewell. <laughs> very cool. It's pretty good, man, pretty good. Thank you. All right. And we got a couple here. Look like they're both from Devin. So Devin, your last like five holiday cards all in a row. Uh, let me see here. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Open up. Open up. And this one is from Christmas, the holiday stocking, Christmas tree. 
Hope you had a good Christmas day in the year 2022, Devin McCreary. And I believe we have one more here from Devin. What other holidays has there been? New Year's? New Year's? Is this a New Year's card? All right, let's see. Camp Crystal Lake. Hope you had a lucky Friday the 13th in January 2022. All right. And a couple more digital copy codes. Now we're caught up. Now we have two more packages. One of them here, I'm going to need a blade. So, every 80s villain needs one of these. Let's see what we got. Oh, I cut it even more. This one went through customs. So, I don't know what that means, but I'm terrified and yet strangely aroused. All right, I'm getting a little nervous with the amount of cutting I've got to do here. Ugh. There's that, there's that, there's that. Okay, that's enough cutting before I injure myself live. Ugh. Okay, let's see, there's a little box here. Man, this bitch is wrapped tight. Who's this from? Jeff Wills. Jeff Wills. All right. Um, I'm going to need the blade again, aren't I? Yes, I am. Jeff said ain't nobody opening this shit. Not even Cody. Cut that. Cut that. And that should be good. A rat. All right, is there? Okay, it's everything. Let's read the letter first. Hi Cody, greetings from the UK. I just wanted to say I really enjoy your movie reviews and rankings. Keep up the good work and I hope you like the gift. Jeff, short, sweet, and to the point. Jeff, I like that. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I see the thing. Oh, and Die Hard. Limited edition coins. Very cool. So hopefully it's within focus enough. There is a coin here from the thing that has a dog on it. Is that going to focus? There we go. It's got the, the wolf there on it. And then we got one from Die Hard that's uh, got the Nakatomi Plaza. Have to turn it a little bit. Awesome. Very cool, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Come out to the coast. We'll get together and have a few laughs. <laughs> What's this one say? The thing doesn't want to show itself. Wants to hide inside an imitation. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Final package. And this one is from Javier Rodriguez. And I know Javier especially has messaged me a couple of times. He's like, hey, man, did you ever get the, the package? And I'm like, yes, I did. I'm just, I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, it is wrapped up lovingly. Let's see here. Dear Cody, this is from December 20th. So yeah, my bad, dude. I must have been waiting a lot longer than I thought. I thought I was only a couple months behind. I'm like half a fucking year. I'm a huge fan of your channel. In a very small amount of time, you become my favorite YouTuber. Awesome, thank you so much. First of all, I want to congratulate you on 100K and the start of your YouTube career full time. As much as I love and enjoy your movie reviews, I actually discovered your channel because of your Resident Evil ranking videos, which were awesome. Those are always fun. Uh, to help commemorate my discovery of your channel, I got you this Christmas present. I hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas to you and your family, Javi Rodriguez. All right, let's see what it is. Yeah, I actually just uh, released my review of the Resident Evil 4 remake today. So that's interesting timing. Let's see what we got here. You're a very good wrapper, I'll tell you that. It's all nice and symmetrical. Oh, ho, 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 That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. That is fucking cool. Hell yes. Javi, you are the fucking man, sir. A replica statue of the liquor from Resident Evil 2. Focus, goddammit. Focus. Look at that shit. 
Look at that beautiful, disgusting son of a bitch. Hell yes! 17 centimeter replica statue. That is fucking awesome. They show you the back of him too. You want to see the liquor's ass? That's what he looks like. <laughs> Focus. There we go. Yeah, muscles. Resident Evil liquor. Six and a half inch replica. So is it centimeters? 17 centimeters? Okay, yeah, yeah. We're doing the metric system and everything. Numb skull collectibles. Fuck yeah. Okay, we got to open this thing. We got to open this thing. Oh, that's cool as shit. Such great timing. Maybe it's a good thing I waited. Because now I'm in this whole Resident Evil kick. Come on, tape. Damn you! It's that fucking tape that just fucking peels and peels. Where's my knife? Cut the tape. Is there tape on that side? No. Cut the tape. All right. Harvey, Harvey. All right, so I got to attach the tail. Where does the tail, oh, that's the tongue, not the tail. All right, how does it go? Can't quite see the pattern there. There it is. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. I'm about to find a nice little place for that. That is so cool, dude. I love the liquor. That might be my favorite, like, non-boss character or creature, I should say. I love that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not right. Man, that is cool. Well, guys, that is it for this fan mail unboxing. Thank you so much to everybody that sent something in, whether it's a letter or a fucking awesome Resident Evil liquor or some signed merchandise from the Snoochie Boochies, the, uh, the View Askew Universe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single thing here. And, um, uh, Again, if you want to send me anything, not requesting it, but uh, P.O. Box address is in the video description below. And I will not wait so long. I, I need to, like, mark a date on the side of the box so I can keep myself accountable. I did not realize I was holding on to these things for literally, like, four months. So thank you, everybody, and I will catch you on the next one. That's it for this one, guys. Weird video to find me on, but if you want to see some more, please click over here for my 2023 release reviews. And I'm also going to put my latest off-the-shelves video up here if you just, like, unboxing type things like share hit the subscribe button and as always remember opinions are like assholes but that doesn't mean you have to be